गुड आफ्टरनून टुडे आई एम गिविंग अ लेक्चर ऑन रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया सप्लाई चेन एज वी नो देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ करेंसी दैट एग्जिस्ट इन इंडिया वन इज कॉइन एंड वन इज अ नोट दीज आर ऑफिशियली अनाउंस बाय द गवर्नमेंट्स एंड दीज आर कॉल्ड एज लीगल टेंडर्स वी मे नॉट बी इंटरेस्टेड इन फिनेंशियल ट्रांजेक्शन बट वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन हाउ रिजर्व बैंक ऑफ इंडिया and government of india banks circulate the notes across the supply chain first of all we need to understand how the reserve bank of india does the forecasting of the notes forecasting of the notes depends on the circulation uh, i mean circulation in the notes that are in good quantity the notes are soiled one okay then the gross domestic product of the country has to be taken into consideration before printing the notes uh, there are uh, different types of the uh, facilities uh, decisions the government of india has taken notes are printed in uh, four facilities they are nasik devas mysore and salboni and the coins are minted they called as minting they are minted in mumbai noida kolkata and hyderabad uh, okay now let me come to the second part what are the procurement of reserve bank of india uh, will do procurement of reserve bank of india will do first one uh, we require you know, cotton for printing the notes this usually you know procured from new zealand and uh, some are procured from uh, indian cotton manufacturers also uh, then we require a security thread uh because uh, this thread you uh, know how this thread is uh, utilized when uh, okay the notes is inserted in the machine a uh, thread will turn to green to blue then it is a genuine notes otherwise it is a counterfeit notes bank has to give this notes back to the customer okay then uh, the question about you know procuring the intaglio printing what is intaglio printing intaglio printing is uh, people who are visually challenged how they will recognize uh, the notes so therefore the there is a touch and feel feature is added to the notes now that what we call as intaglio printing this is also procured from the outside and uh, reserve bank of india uses watermark and also they use uh, something called fluorescent ink for printing the notes so these are the procurement decisions reserve bank of india is taking okay let me come to the uh, distribution of the notes once the notes are printed in the issue offices so you know printed in the facilities like nasik devas mysore and salvani these print okay the printing offices will send the notes to the 19 issue offices of reserve bank of india say for example one of the branch is on rupotunga road in uh my bangalore in karnataka so they will circulate the notes to the various currency chest okay now that means i am having the second distribution part here or supply chain one okay what is a currency chest currency chest is a designated bank by the reserve bank of india to hold the currencies new currency or old currency or soiled currency anything okay uh so i'll explain one uh assume that if tomorrow federal bank want to open a branch in jamboti before opening the branch in the jamboti the reserve bank of india will ask the federal bank where you want to have a currency chest that means from where you will take the cash or where you will deposit the cash collected so federal bank can say third gate federal bank will make a currency chest that means the jamboti federal bank will not be having the currency chest now from this issues of aces okay that comes to the currency chest there may be second question say assume that we have a ratnakar bank in banhati and there is no other branches nearby can we have currency chest of somebody right so if the state bank of india is having a currency chest in banhati ratnakar bank can give the name of a state bank of india banati as a currency chest that means they can take a cash from the uh, state bank of india okay and give it back to the currency state bank of india 
now coming to the uh, further points here uh, okay how much money is that we can take it from the currency chest so let me explain uh, one thing say uh, we have a branch uh, in uh, uncle he near gokak okay and if they are having a uh, three atms in their branch limit and uh, each branch is having an uh, atm is on 10 lakh limit so they have a 10 lakh 10 lakh 10 lakh 30 lakh and the branch office required 10 lakh so the currency limit is 40 lakh so i am discussing about a 40 lakh limit a branch cannot keep the money more than 40 lakh what happens if you keep the money more than 40 lakhs okay if the bank is not a designated currency chest okay if they keep money they have to pay the interest to the reserve bank of india so therefore every day a bank has to report about transaction to the chest and also the rbi so many banks do not keep extra cash they send it to the currency chest now the second question is if the currency chest and a branch is the same like state bank of india uh, station road where currency chest is also there branch is also there how they have to manage though state bank of india station road branch is there they can tell about what is the amount required to their own currency chest because currency chest are managed by the reserve bank of india they can take say 50 lakh from the currency chest in the state bank station road only but they have to deposit the money by evening to the currency chest otherwise if they keep anything extra than the maximum limit even in the same branch the currency chest is there they have to pay extra amount so therefore the branch manager role is ensure that the cash if it is exceeds they have to give it to the other one the second question you know that comes okay from this currency chest the money will go to the branches okay designated branches and of the commercial banks so state bank of india session road branch to the state bank of india udyam bag branch the money will come now this is generally in the cities we will not be having the problem in a rural area say okay like ilkal in a bagalkot they do not have a currency chest there we have a icici bank we have a state bank of india working there if the current you know, currency is not available because chest is in hunugun around 12 km from there and you want to take a money from the icici bank what is the procedure so in this case they have to create an on a current account with that icici bank and take the money from the icici bank in the suspense account once the money is received delete the suspense bank account and give it back okay or tell it to the currency just that the money is taken so this is how the distribution that happens similarly notes are given now i'll come to the second point about reverse logistics decisions in the circulations okay uh, first one is uh, the money okay that is coming back to the bank or a chest or to the issue office has to be checked for genuineness to avoid the counterfeit branches counterfeit then if the okay notes found to be genuine by the currency chest or issue offices they will reissue the currencies okay if they are unfit to the circulation they will send this to the rbi once again rbi will shred that is cutting into the pieces okay that means they cannot be used once again okay there is one more challenge that comes in the reserve bank of india that is if the notes printing is not proper a particular series reserve bank of india will tell the branch manager to send it back okay so therefore they can avoid the problem of the currencies this is how a uh, currency note circulation that happen in india uh, one more important point the designated banks can allot a particular person to refill the cash say uh, state bank of india can ask the cms the third party to refill the cash in the atms uh the question may come in a smaller city or a smaller villages where branch uh, uh, no like a karnataka vikas gramin bank where they have a designated currency chest at a far places so in that case uh these uh, the, assume that they have other branches of satnakar bank is there or bandhan bank is there all of them come together and can designate cms to refill the cash in the atms this is what is a supply chain of the currency in india 
थैंक यू एनी क्वेरीज प्लीज पुट यूर कमेंट्स ऑन द माई ब्लॉग प्रसार कुलकर्णी मार्केटिंग ब्लॉग स्पॉट डॉट कॉम थैंक यू